Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, thank you so much for the wonderful views on our MBA video which Karishma and I made and also the video I made about the BMW GS 2021 triple black. Those videos have done really well. I've got a lot of new subscribers thanks to those videos. You know, with YouTube, some videos are bad, some videos are good and some videos that you put a lot of work into really do badly. So this is the update on fall. It's about 8.25 in the morning and uh, we got some orange happening down here off the building. Some more there. It's cold. It's uh, definitely winter kind of weathery feeling though it's fall. But uh, beautiful nevertheless. So some videos do very well even if you put in no work or just make a casual video because people like the topic and some videos you edit and work hard and take few hours to do the whole you know thumbnail and sound and everything the songs or whatever and that video will do so badly so it's all about the youtube game and i'm willing to play the game it's a long uh, it's a long game which will last two three four five years who knows let's see Today is election day, we are not citizens yet, uh, we don't vote and uh, you know this election is just a bit funny you know, I, I don't want to say who I support because I'm not making this channel political at all but uh, uh, I'm brown in color and I'm an immigrant so if you're smart enough you will guess as to who I support. Anyways, uh, let, let the best man uh, win. Uh, they are both uh, candidates who have been selected to this uh, level of uh, process. The most powerful person in the free world. Let's see who the new or let's see if it's the same most powerful person in the free world. But uh, by the time you see this video, I think we will know that answer. Just enjoying uh, my coffee. Actually, my wife and I collect these uh, coffee cups which are, you know, based on whichever city you've lived in in the US. So this is uh, Kentucky because uh, we've lived in Kentucky and we have one for New Jersey. So far, only lived in two cities in the US. Who knows what the future has in store. So we were thinking of uh, the whole buying of house and discussions are on. And sometimes we also wonder that what if we buy a house and then we get a job transfer to another city, you know, then we have to again sell that house at a big loss because of COVID, everything is in loss. There's so many things to think about when you're buying a house because it's hard earned money, you know, we're not getting a house on a platter as a gift or something. It's, it's hard earned money and uh, we still think in rupees, right? So when we think of the prices of houses here, and you convert it into rupees it's it's expensive because new york new jersey are all expensive so we'll keep you updated on the house uh, talk that is you know early next year i think that will get interesting but i keep saying maybe we should rent also because when you rent you have flexibility you can every year change your city change your location if karishma gets a job transfer to another state we don't have to worry about selling the house we can just terminate the rent contract and move so let's see so many things to talk about the bmw bike uh, panniers are here in my room in the corner here and uh, other than being a pannier for the bike they make a great uh, tripod which is where i'm putting the camera now so you guys can see me better i hope i don't know let's see let's hope this is a better camera angle because there are so many professional YouTubers who watch me and they'll be like this guy's gone all over the place. Okay. So yes, today's topic is a little controversial because it may not be for all age groups. I would say if you're in your 20s and you have a girlfriend and you're in a, in a good job, maybe this video is for you. And... Uh, it's not for my 15 year old, 16 year old audience because uh, I make videos for different age groups. So some videos may be for 
much older, some maybe for much younger. But today's video is very interesting and uh, Karishma is working so unfortunately she is not able to join. And yes, we will make the Q&A video with Karishma. She is busy and we were, we were pretty busy on the weekend. So whenever she is free, we will together join up and make the Q&A video that's pending. Okay guys, so I wanted to talk about the whole uh, living in together before marriage. Now, you know, we are in 2020. I think parents and uh, society are much, much easier with people nowadays. I mean, before when we were dating Karishma and I, you know, and, and I like to share personal things on this channel because I'm not, I don't regret anything I've done in my life. So 20 years ago, whatever, when Karishma and I were dating, 2000, 2001, uh, we decided we are getting married. We decided that we want to live our life together. And uh, she was living in a company accommodation. I was living with my parents. We both said, you know, we are getting married in a year or two. Uh, let's, let's take up a house and uh, rent a house. And... Uh, the good part is we had very very supportive we have very very supportive parents so they were they were broad minded we were 24 20 23 24 we were not some teenagers uh, we were doing well in our jobs we were doing very well in our career growth uh, we were earning well so we said let's uh, you know let's take a house together and live together uh, and then you know obviously the test is when you actually live together and I'm not saying we have some perfect marriage. Uh, no marriage is perfect. We, we've had a lot of ups and downs. And those things are personal. We won't get into that. But, uh, you know, when we joined our, fin joined our finances together for, for a house, we, we had taken a house in Shere Punjab in Mumbai. A very beautiful terrace apartment. It was one bedroom. And that time the rent was like, 12 or 14,000 a month. So half of our joint salary was in the rent only. But we enjoyed it. I mean, we had uh, started life together before marriage, you know. And uh, that's what I like, that uh, we both got a chance to build our story even before our marriage, you know. We got to know each other. We got to live together. We got to understand everyone's routine and everyone's... Uh, way of living you know comfort level before getting married so the fact that we are married now 18 years shows that we've kind of passed that stage and that's why i thought let's talk to you guys about this topic so this was 2000 2001 and uh, you know obviously those days were different than now uh, you know i was uh, i mean i'm christian catholic and karishma's hindu girl so though we gelled very well in our dating app, everything was fine, you know, between us. But maybe parents or families were wondering that, will it survive? Will it be okay? These both are different, you know, come from different cultures. So coming to the live-in relationship, I feel if you're, you know, stable in your job, in your career, and your girlfriend or your partner is also, you know, stable, happy in her career or doing whatever she likes to do, and you both have decided to get married. There's nothing wrong in trying it out by living together for some months or a year. I'm not saying that you have to live in with all your girlfriends or all your partners. But if someone you're getting married to and you're getting married in a year or two, I definitely feel you should give it a shot where you join together, take up a house on rent, a small house or whatever your budget permits and start the living experience in terms of how to run a kitchen, how to run a house, how to run a day-to-day -day expense chart, how to run your finances, how to run your whole, uh, you know, who gets up in the morning, how does one sleep on the bed, how does one behave in the night, how does one get up, cook, eat, all those activities happen when you live together. You don't get to know all that when you're dating, right? When you're dating, you only see 5% of the person and that too, the person's mostly in a good mood. And obviously, uh, that's the part of life where you can enjoy the most because once you get married and uh, have kids and all the responsibilities begin of EMIs and paying for home and everything, 
I think the the best part of living together is probably the few months or the years before you get married because after you get married everything becomes like okay this is my life partner it's now forever and forever things may get boring at times you have to you have to keep it spicy i mean i can make another video about that but after you get married it can become a little bored and mundane so the best part of your relationship is the 6 months to 1 to 2 years before you get married and that's why i feel you should live together to try it out so guys uh, this is kind of a hard talk video because i know these are hard for me to talk about i mean uh, sometimes i wonder that what all do i put out there but i don't mind you know because 7 8000 subscribers that i have a lot of young minds and i want to talk about different topics you know mba is on the whole career and the study side but i also want to talk a lot about finances about couple goals about relationships about children and depends what age group you fall under you may like or may not like my video but please comment your views and we have a lot of questions that we've put together from the q and a so the next maybe one or two videos later will be the q and a video depending on our schedule but we want to do all the questions at one time and complete the whole q and a it's it's pending for 2 3 weeks so look out for that and also let me know your views on this topic of live in relationship what are your views are you a little old school where you feel you should only live in after you get married maybe you are getting arranged marriage so there's no chance of live in relationship you have to only get married and then see how your cards play out but if you're dating someone if you want to get married to that person and you're living in together for a few months or a year or two let me know how is it going and also what are your views on this subject if you are above 21 i don't want my young audience to be talking about this focus on your studies this topic is more for the older people okay guys signing out and as always the youtube uh, out going speech please like this video please share please subscribe and help us to reach 10000 subscribers i'm not sure if it's going to happen this year but whenever it happens we are looking forward to our first mini 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 milestone on youtube please subscribe please share thank you so much for your support take care bye